All right, everyone. So this offseason, Malik Neighbors, Trayvon Diggs, they had some beef, right? They were going back and forth. Um, and obviously, this is a big division rivalry. It's pretty interesting because you have one who's a wide receiver and one who's a quarterback. So this is one of those things that we're actually going to see the two, you know, playing against each other. It's not like a quarterback talking crap to another quarterback, you know, because they're never actually going to be on the field at the same time. So he was asked today by Jordan Rannon um, about it. And this is so Jordan Rannon tweeted out this wide receiver Malik Neighbors and cornerback Trayvon Diggs had a back and forth during the offseason. Now they get to face one another for the first time. So this is what neighbors said. It is what it is. I don't really want to talk about it now. It's game time. So Giants fans are loving this quote, and I think they have a reason to, because you don't want to really play too much into this, right? You don't want to give any bulletin board material to the other side. And you also don't want to, you know, just have all the headlines going up to this Thursday night game to be about you. You want it to be about the team. And you, you'd like to have as much, as little hype as possible going into it. So I think he does a great job here with that, just saying, listen, you know, it's game time. You know, we're going to see it on the field because this is going to be a big game for the Giants and this is going to be a big game for the Cowboys. For the Cowboys, as kind of rough as the last two games have been, if you get a win against the Giants, you're 2-2 two and two with the whole, you know, season ahead of you. A loss, you're 1-3. and three. On the Giants' end, you look at their first three games, First game was terrible. Second game, they would have won if they just had a kicker, right? And against the Browns, they looked as good as they've looked yet. So they could have been 2-1. and one. They're 1-2. One and two. But if you get a win here, okay, you're 2-2 two and two with the whole season ahead of you. And I know people aren't going to be predicting the Giants to do anything. But at the same time, if they're 2-2 two and two in this division with a Commanders team that we don't really know what they are yet. They've looked good so far, but the Giants almost beat the Commanders. So when you look at that, Look at it from that standpoint, you know, they could certainly jump them. And an Eagles team that, you know, listen, so far they've been able to pull out wins and Saquon has been a massive addition. But much like we saw last year, I they haven't showed us any signs that they're out of whatever was, you know, really plaguing them last year. So we'll see, you know, they could end up running away with this division. And then the Cowboys, obviously, but if you beat them here and they go to one and three, you set yourself up for at least a chance. Um, but this is what we're going for, right? This is what we're looking for. It's going to be a big game, Thursday night football. We'll have to see what it comes down to. But I can tell you this, Malik Neighbors, Trayvon Diggs, keep an eye on that because it is going to be what everybody's talking about during the game. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.